So today we got the gameplay trailer for the new Defiant Season 12 on Apex Legends. We're gonna go over the best bits. I'm gonna try breaking this down as little as I could because I don't want everyone to watch a six, seven minute trailer with me where you can just go watch it on your own. I broke it down to the best bits and let's just get straight into them right now. So the first thing I wanna mention is Maggie's finishers. So I think we're getting two. Number one is right here. Pretty damn cool. Although I think the second one's better. Second one we got right here. That's to Maggie's two finishers. Next, what I want to go over is uh, we have. So if we go from back here, so this is playing control the stuff at the moment. Watch out. If you look at this a minute, Get back in there, right, after this, after this, Whether two Pathfinders on the same team, cures, both zipping together, or both killing some guy on the other team, right. With bigger teams than ever two Wraiths portaling, I assume they're on the same team, maybe you can or get two, five. maybe they are, you can have two Legends. Uh, on each team that the same, which is kind of cool. There's going to be a weird meta of having four of the same character twice and then a single guy. And it's going to be a wacky time, I think. New ways to but that is also pretty cool. Uh, what else have we got? Right, so... Legend when Sears happens. running through here, as you can see here, we got ratings. Now, With I don't know what this means, ratings leader but title. it seems pretty cool. I, they, I would have thought that this was like... Just like the the lobby leaderboard almost but why would they put it in here i assumed that like obviously like arenas has like you can you can see each other's damage while you're playing but this is different this is like it gives you a score um so next we get a glimpse of i think uh, the passive so when when uh Maggie has a, a shotgun she seems to have this boost uh, i think people have been calling it shotgun kick I think she runs faster, I think she gets basically a rampart boost when she's using a shotgun. Obviously you get to see her attack, uh, tactical there, which is some kind of, I think it's like a wall breach. I've yet to see it work on like a building, on something that can't be broken. We've seen it in the first trailer where it hit a box and then it came out either side of the box. But if it was a flat wall with a building you can go through, I'm not sure if it does damage on the other side. If it does, it'd be a really good counter to cool stick and people that sit in buildings a lot. But I can also see that it does actually knock that lifeline, so it does damage. And that shotgun, it's her shotgun thing. I'm not sure what that the pickup for the mastiff is different as well. She kicks it and catches it, and it's how fast she runs with it. Look at you can see from this here. Obviously, that is her ult. This ult seems really weird as well. I know it, it looks like it shoots things off as it bounces, and this cool stick right here. I think it's a cool stick. It looks like he gets knocked from it. As you can see, he does go down, but it's a bit fast to see. But you can look how fast she runs with this, and you can tell from this slide. That slide there is like a horizon slide where you don't dead slide, you actually get the slide after it because you're moving faster. A dastardly sneak attack. So here we have the new Olympus, which looks absolutely crazy. Orchestrated by Mad Maggie has wreaked havoc on Olympus. Teleporting There's a lot of things going on here. Across the city. Maggie's sabotage has upended the natural a lot of order. Things. The legends There's see, it's, 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 there's so much going on. There really is. Like this area, I can't even picture where these areas are. Like I know there's bonsai plazas here. This is where like fuel depot was like over here. But I, I think it's all been changed around. I, I think it's nothing's going to be that similar. Need to adapt quickly to, to their new surroundings. There's a lot of new things going on. Of of and also, what made me think was uh, there was a tweet the other day. I'll put it on screen now. But from season three, when uh, we had the beautiful capital with the building in the middle that they got rid of, and it fed in lava. Uh, they tease that building coming back, but in this trailer they only tease Stormpoint and Olympus. Why would they tease that at the same time? If for another at least three months we don't get anything, do you think other bits of maps gonna teleport it in, or there's a control map based on it? There's more to I'm life sure. than just survival. I know what I like, and I know how to get so it. So here we have the new battle pass. That's why our legends are. It's like this is the first skin. Uh, Olympus skin right back. When she the finisher. That's her new skin on the battle pass. That seems like it'd be legendary. To be honest, you only get to see one. Thanks to both. Pretty cool skin, to be fair. New leadership. The Apex game. Uh, actually, that's that's like a just even a legendary skin, but that is a new skin. These are going to be more exciting than ever. Both old skins, both old skins. We guarantee madness will take control. Marvel. 
So, these skins. This looks like, it's kind of interesting the concept they've gone for here because this is a caustic skin. I, I think it's called the Trophy Hunter skin. Don't quote me on that. But it's one of the legendary skins anyway. They've gone Gibby and Rev, they've based it off this legendary skin. I guess you have teams of three, it makes sense if they all kind of look the same. People do enjoy that stuff. And they've also done oh, what shows, what they show the ones off here. With Loba, this is her legendary skin, and they got Bang and Valk as well that have the same kind of colour scheme going on. And then this one is probably the coolest one, the Crypto Hype Beast skin with a Watson and a Mirage. Um, that skin's nice to be fair, it's um, it's different and them two skins will be heavily liked for sure. Um, and you get a fuse, a pirate one, this is legendary, and you get, is that Mad Maggie? I think that's Mad Maggie and Bloodhound. It's a little old school. The hunt begins. Now this, for me, is one of the weirdest, coolest things about the trailer. So this is like an end scene credit almost thing, it's nothing to do with Battle Pass I don't think. But if you, um, hang on, just look. Right, if you, I can't get it off the screen. How do I get it off the screen? Basically, right here, I'm not sure how easy you can read that, because I can hardly read it, but it says, gameplay required to unlock tier two or higher versions of, versions of, and finishers for prestige skins. Wow. Just wow. I'm going to make my own video on this, um, so I won't go into it too much. This but you can see from that finisher, he changes. He does a finisher and it changes, and he goes in with that skin. Look how that was a black and red skin, alright? Black and red, black and red. Changes over. That is all red. That's changed again. Now he does this finisher, and this thing comes out. That's a brand new finisher, and it's got reactive skins. Now I'm going to do my own little video on this, so I don't want to go into too much, but that there is cool as hell. There's a lot to go from in that. And I like the place for that bit at the bottom there as well, it's going to be interesting. Cool skin on the car as well. But that there, for me, is the main bits coming out of this trailer. I didn't want to go over 20 minutes of it, because um, honestly, watch it yourself, you can take most of the bits out of it. Control is basically domination, um, it's going to have other bits in it. I went over the main bits that I thought were important, but... Uh, yeah if you want to go watch it go on the apex channel on youtube do whatever uh, you feel like doing really but that's the breakdown i'm going for i didn't want to watch it all again because i'm sure everyone that's watching this video and wants a breakdown come for a breakdown and not to watch the video again but uh, i hope you enjoyed it guys and uh if you want to see the video on the bloodhound reactive skin that i'm going to go into a bit more then make sure you subscribe uh like the video it'll probably be up just after this one will because i want to get it up as fast as i can but cheers guys thanks for watching and peace out for now